So one of the main questions I've gotten since I've had the Galaxy Note 8 is, Jay, is it an upgrade from the Galaxy S8 Plus? And the real answer is, you should be trying to upgrade to the Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus. But if you're that intrigued by this phone in this video, I want to talk about some reasons why you possibly might want to switch to a new category of phone. Let's get into it. So the first thing you notice here, the difference with the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus is the screen. The screen on this one is 6.3 and the S8 Plus is 6.2. And you might say, well, that's not a huge difference. But technically, once you have the device in hand, you will see a difference in the screen. I'm not saying screen size. You'll see a difference in quality. In my experience, I tested the Galaxy S8 Plus next to the Galaxy Note 8, and I was more impressed with the form factor of the Galaxy Note 8, if anything else. When holding the Galaxy Note 8 in the typical, I'm going to watch a movie form, this feels a heck of a lot better. Let me remove this case to show you what I mean. The Galaxy Note 8 is a square device, and it's a beautifully crafted square device. Uh, on the edges, I'm saying. So uh, with the Galaxy S8 Plus, you get a rounded corners. And yeah, they may it may seem like it's a little easier to hold in the hand. Uh, but with the Galaxy Note 8, holding in the hand with this boxy frame, to me, it actually feels a lot better. Uh, I feel like I'm holding a more, a, a more substantial feeling phone in my hand. It's bigger. It seems like it's beefier. And it's just because they squared off the edges and and corners and made it a 6.3 inch display. Uh, it looks like with the Galaxy Note 8 you get less bezels when in fact it's probably pretty much the same. Now, I don't have my Galaxy S8 Plus anymore. I ditched on that because I knew this was coming in. I didn't want to pretty much have a duplicate almost of the same style of phone. But this phone right here definitely is a better display and a more immersive display than the Galaxy, 8 Plus, Galaxy S8 Plus in my opinion. But again, that's just my opinion. So I'll change this wallpaper real quick to a wallpaper that you might consider to be a little bit more immersive or it will show you um, you know just how nice the screen really is. I use that that wallpaper right there because it's uh, a darker wallpaper and I really like it. So I'm going to lower the brightness down a little bit here so you can kind of get a feel of just how beautiful that screen is. And you look at that, that is gorgeous. So let's look at another wallpaper here. Beautiful, beautiful display. Let's switch to another one here. And let's go into some of these wallpapers here. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Let's take a look at this. Let's download it. And install it. Let's apply it. That is gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. And I mean, you could install this same wallpaper on your Galaxy S8 Plus, but the fact that the Galaxy S8 Plus is rounded on the display, it seems, or just the, the footprint of the Galaxy S8 Plus seems a little different. This is all about perception. And in my perception, I think the Galaxy Note 8 is a much better feeling phone in hand, and the screen is much more immersive. Also, the screen is HDR10, and oh man, the content that you get from HDR10 is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't seen my first impressions video, be sure to hit the link in the description and I show some footage of this beautiful display in action. So aside from the theory of, oh, this is just a, a, a Galaxy S8 Plus with an S Pen, let's flip it over. Looking right here, there's two cameras. This phone has dual optical image stabilization. And when I'm telling you, if you like a lot of 4K content, shooting 4K on this display I walked around, I did a bunch of different footage. Again, check out the link in the description of my full camera review of this device. You'll be amazed at how much better this phone is for shooting video and taking photos than the Galaxy S8 Plus. And again, this is just perception, and this is how I feel about it. This is a fantastic set of rear cameras on here. They are mind-blowing. The footage that you can get from this thing is absolutely fantastic. So that's another reason why I feel like you should definitely upgrade from the Galaxy S8 Plus. I shouldn't say upgrade or switch from the Galaxy S8 Plus. I think you'd be a lot happier with these cameras than the Galaxy S8 Plus cameras. And again, remember, this is just my perspective on it. This is the way I see these two phones, and I definitely feel like this is a good switch 
to a better device. So aside from the screen and the cameras, I'm not touching on the S Pen yet because that's an obvious switch. I mean, you get a full suite with the S Pen. So taking aside the S Pen, what else classifies this as a better device? In my opinion, um, the cameras, the screen. I think the overall build quality is the same. But internally, you get the 6 gigs of RAM. So to a lot of people, that feels that some people feel like they can see the difference. Uh, you know, they're they can tell the difference in performance. Personally, I can't really tell the difference from the Galaxy S8 Plus, but what I can tell you is that this phone is absolutely fast. I haven't experienced any lag. I did get some lag on my Galaxy S8 Plus at one point, but I don't know that I'll experience that. And it's not just because of the RAM, it's just in general, I just think the experience on here with TouchWiz, Samsung Experience, whatever you wanna call it, it seems to be a better experience. And again, this is just my experience with it. If you have both of these, I know BG Tech Lite, type, BG Tech Lite has both, and also um, technically T has both, shout out to those guys. Uh, man, they both have done videos um, in talking about each one of these. So both of them prefer, in the way I perceive it, they look like they both prefer the Note 8 over the Galaxy S8 Plus. But again, it's just, it's a preference, it's a perspective of things. Obviously, the S Pen suite uh, takes this phone over the top when it com when compared to the Galaxy S8 Plus. You get so much more. I mean, you get the live live message here, and this is something you've got translate also. Um, these are things that, to me, I think they're unique to the Galaxy Note 8, if I'm not mistaken. These are very eclectic features that you just can't get. I mean, the S Pen suite alone is a form is a factor. There's something you should factor in when trying to decide if you do you want to give up your S8 Plus for this phone. Once you switch over and you start using the, the Galaxy Note 8 with the, the S Pen, doing basic things, sometimes you clean your, you won't even have to touch the screen. And that is a huge plus. I'm super happy about that. Here's, here's something else. Now, we, again, we already know that the S Pen is going to be a winning factor over the S8 Plus. But again... You know, some people see this as a business device, but Samsung doesn't market this as a business phone. They market it as just uh, something for Note fans, people who want more. I mean, because I went to the Galaxy Note uh, 8 event, and they didn't say anything about this is a business phone. But the reason a lot of people might feel like it's a business device or it leans more towards a business user is because of the S Pen. You can do so much with the S Pen. It's absolutely crazy. Now, to be fair, you can do a lot of things with docs on the S8+. Plus but it's just not the same. Samsung was pushing the DeX, feed, uh, DeX uh, item out there at the event, and you can still use the, the DeX with the Galaxy S8 Plus. I personally think they should have not allowed, now it's gonna sound crazy, but I don't think they should have given the DeX features to the Galaxy S8 Plus because it actually draws away from the Note 8 and how great it is. DeX should have been exclusive to the Note 8, in my personal opinion. I think that would have been a better fit for DeX because People, again, view the Note 8 as some kind of business phone because of the capabilities. So should you switch to the Galaxy Note 8 from the S8 Plus, that's ultimately going to be up to you. But I would tell you yes, because the Galaxy Note 8, it can be had for less than the Galaxy S8 Plus at the moment. You just do a trade-in. Now, with that, the Galaxy S8 Plus is more affordable because you don't need any trade-ins to get a discount on it. You can get the Galaxy S8 Plus for $675. This phone, the lowest you can get the unlocked version for is 930. Uh, but with that, if you're a Note 7 previous owner, you can log into Samsung's website and get this for $500 if you trade in a phone. And that's just a fantastic deal. That is a super deal. Like, who wouldn't want that deal? So, all I can tell you is, if you decide to switch to the Galaxy Note 8 from the Galaxy S8 Plus, you will not think once you get it you won't say oh this is just a galaxy s8 plus with an s pen uh, there's no way to kind of fully let you to get you to understand that it's not it's one of those things where you got to experience it for yourself and just a few things now obviously i'm talking here there's not a lot that separates these two phones i'm not saying that it is when i say it's a different class of phone this is a different class of phone However, there's not too much that separates them. I think that Samsung should have done a better job and gave the Note more to differentiate itself. Because uh, the S8 Plus, don't get me wrong, that is a great phone. Check my review on that if you haven't done so already. But this phone right here, 
not because it's a new phone because again there's not a lot that separates it but this is a fantastic phone i mean the hdr10 compliance alone should be a deal breaker for you a deal breaker in the sense that you're going to move up because <laughs> you'd be moving up because the screen on the S8 Plus is good, but the HDR10 compliance on here is fantastic. I mean, I'm watching HDR10 uh, uh, videos on here at 60 frames per second in 2K on a phone. Fantastic. So check some links in the description of this video. There's not a lot, like I said, I can convince you to try to switch. I'm not trying to get you to, to switch to the Galaxy Note 8 from your S8 Plus. This phone officially launches on September 15th, but lots of people are getting it early thanks to T-Mobile and, and, and some other places. Uh, Samsung.com is shipping it out early. All I can tell you is if you're on the fence about getting this phone, go to a Best Buy. If you have a local Samsung store, go use it and take your S8 Plus with you. You know, don't try to talk yourself out of getting it. Just let it flow. You, you try to... Just buy it if you want to and use it. And if you don't like it, if you don't think it's a substantial upgrade in your eyes, send it back. But I guarantee you, once you get it, you won't want to send it back. And you'll officially be a part of the, the Galaxy Note Club. Because the Galaxy Note Club is an exclusive group of people. We want more from our Samsung devices. And this is the only phone right now from Samsung that's able to do that. I feel complete with this phone as a Samsung user. So should you switch? I'll leave that up to you. But all I can tell you is this is a fantastic phone that has some killer features that the S8 will never have. So I'll see you in the next video. It's your man J. Will. This is Galaxy Note 8. You think you're going to switch? Let me know in the comments if you did. Take care.